Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, I will explain the basic physics behind how we can make a drone hover. And when I say hover, means the drone comes up to a height and maintains this height without going up or down. So this is a very important concept. It's called hovering. And here, the concept is an extension of what we have learnt in the previous lectures where if you remember I had explained that the weight of the drone and each of these motors they exhibit two different forces so the weight of the drone puts a force downwards whereas these propellers they try and lift the drone upwards so now, let me explain to you how these four propellers with the motors will help you achieve a state where the drone is hovering. So first, let me tell you how to bring the drone up. You're already aware of that. So first, what we do is we increase the RPM of all four motors so that the thrust generated by each of these motors is more than the weight of this drone. So when the thrust is more than the weight of this drone, what happens is the drone starts moving upwards. Now the same question is, if you don't stop, the drone keeps moving upwards. And here what happens is, to stop the drone from continuously moving upwards, what you will have to do is, you will have to make sure that you bring these propellers to an RPM so that, this is very important, please understand this statement, so that the total thrust generated by each of these propellers, so the total thrust generated by each of these propellers or the total force or total thrust or the lift, whatever word you want to use, is equal to the weight. So when they are equal, the drone neither goes up nor goes down and it just holds this position and sometimes you have to keep adjusting this RPM so that the drone holds a steady weight. Sometimes it might go up down a little bit but it holds it steady. Now how is it able to hold it steady? It's the same thing that the force on the drone going downwards and the lift being generated upwards both of them cancel each other out and that is why the drone neither goes up nor goes down and this causes your drone to hover at one place and this is very important. So I will repeat again. First, you increase the RPM of all four motors so that the force generated by the lift is more than the force generated by the weight and your drone starts moving upwards. Now the point at which you want to hover the drone and hold it steady, at that point you have to reduce the RPM such that it is equal to the weight. Once it is equal, it will hold the height. Now if it's less, then the drone starts going back down. If it's more, it starts going up. So for it to maintain a particular height, you'll have to make sure that the thrust generated by these four motors is equal to the weight of this drone going downwards. If it is more, it will go up. If it's less, it will go down. Now, this is an important concept because when you actually fly a drone, you do not realize what's happening because the controller is doing this control for you. And Using our simulator, we will actually understand how to make the drone hover at a particular height. It's a calculation of the thrust generated by each of these motors and the weight of this drone. So this we will actually look at our simulator in the next lecture on how to go about hovering. It's not as easy as you think and that's the learning of this simulator where you will understand how we can take this drone, make it go up and hover at a particular height. So this is a very important concept we need to understand. And it is one of 
an interesting task also that you will have to clear during your simulator learning section which i will show you later so in this theory lecture we understood how to hover a drone in the next lecture we will look at the practical aspects of implementing hovering using our simulator i hope this theoretical concept was clear for you guys i'll see you guys in the next lecture thank you